Hi everyone. Easy Commission is an online application that allows companies to calculate sales commission for their sales reps. This presentation shows how Easy Commission works for the typical mortgage. We're going to use a simple commission plan to show this. We're going to act as the compensation administrator and review the plans. This company represents various mortgage products. For this demo, we will be looking at FHA and VA loan products. There are two loan officers, Andy and Brenda. Andy gets paid different commission rates for the FHA and VA loan products based on the loan income. Brenda also gets paid different commission rates for FHA and VA, but her rates are different from Andy's. Using this system, we can also pay other types of plans. For example, we can pay a loan processor $100 for every file he worked on. The loan manager can get credit for their office or their subordinates, but they, get, but they can be paid as basis points on loan amount. Now let's go to the application itself. This is the EC Commission website. We're going to log in as a comp administrator. This is where you or the salespeople will actually log in. Okay, now we are logged into Easy Commission as a comp administrator. You can see how clearly this application is laid out. The first thing you, we need is a commission schedule or a calendar. This is a schedule by which you will pay commissions. By specifying frequency, the current period, the commission year, the first day of the commission year, we can generate a calendar and use it in our calculations. You can calculate commissions for January, let's say on February the 5th. If you're starting in July and calculating for June, you should set the period to five, for example. Now let's go look at our reps. Let's click on reps. This is a list page. You can add a new rep by clicking on add new. Let me look at Andy reps record. You don't need to set up a lot of information for any of these tables. Here, well, you, know, you need the a name of the loan officer as well as the email ID. And if necessary, you can associate the rep with the manager. If you notify the rep of their information, then they will have access to the system as well. Otherwise, they won't. Let's go back and look at the products now. We're representing multiple products in this company. You can see FHA, VA, conforming, jumbo, and HELOC type loan products. Let's take a look at one of these products. You really need only the product name. Again, the, you don't have to use a product. They could be optional. Let's look at customers. Customers are also optional. You can set up a name. This is typically your homeowner. You can set up their address if you feel that is necessary for your reports. Let's take a look at the transaction. Transactions are essentially the loan originations. They can be manually entered in our system. Normally, they would come from a loan and processing systems such as 
calyx point or byte. And uh, we can provide a Excel template from our system. And you can map your data to that Excel template and import it directly into the system as well. Let's take a look at one of the transactions. So this is the transaction. This could be a loan number, for example, the date of the loan, the product that the loan represents, the customer. The loan income can be entered here, and the loan amount can, can be entered here as well. So we can also put in the territory or office for the loan, and you can put in the loan officer's information here as well. You can see we have the ability to put in more loan officer information or loan processor information, and we can even split the credit between multiple loan officers. Let's look at a couple of the other loans. Here's another loan. The product is different. The amounts are all the same. And this is still going to Andy as a salesperson. And we have one more transaction, or one more loan. This one, the product is FHA, but the salesperson is Brenda. So we have three loan transactions here. Now a crucial part of the system is the commission plan. Let's go like, take a look at the commission plan. In the commission plan, you can set up a plan uniquely for each salesperson. And uh, we'll review Andy's commission plans now. You specify who the plan is for, give it a plan name. And within the plan, you can have any number of incentives which are commissions and bonuses, typically. You specify the name. You specify what the commission is calculated on. So you can calculate on sales amount, which is loan income in this case. If you used amount one, it could be the loan amount. And we also have to say how we could select a set of transactions and give it to this person's commission plan. So here's a rule that says, if the transaction has a rep's name on it, then the rep gets credit for it. So this way, each transaction goes to the right person's plan. And finally, how will the commission rate be decided? Here, we are deciding it, that it is different by different products. And then we just list the products and list the specific commission rates, and we are done with the plan. Let's take a look at a Brenda's plan as well. Here's Brenda's plan. Her plan is very similar to Andy's. Everything is the same. The only real difference is that for the products, she has different commission rates. But you can see we can have a lot of different types of plans. So now once you set up those two plans, you would normally calculate the commissions for the period. The commission plans are set up only once, typically at the beginning of the year, but calculations happen for every period. So the commission plans are recalculated. You can immediately go and see the commission statements. So let's take a look at that. Here's Andy's commission statement for the period. You can export the statement. And here's the name, the title, the period for which the commission plan is for, the transactions that were credited to Andy with all the relevant information, the commission rates that are changing by the different products, and the total amount that becomes the commission check here to cut for them. That's pretty much it for calculating commissions for Andy. Let's take a look at Brenda. If you remember, Brenda had only one transaction, and her commission rate is different at 90%. So in this configuration, you've seen how we can set up the commission plans, the products, and calculate and produce results. That's all you have to do to calculate commissions for a mortgage-type program. And once the calculations are done and results are made available to the rep. 
you can close the period and the commission schedule will move to the next period and you can start all over again. The best way to make sure this product works for you is to sign up at our website. If you subscribe for the minimum number of licenses for the minimum time period, you get free included setup hours, in this case, $250 worth. And that will help us help you set up the commission plans and explain how this would fit your needs. We also have another more sophisticated sales commission solution called Q Commission for companies with more complex needs. Thank you very much for your time today.